Rockefeller, The Oil Tycoon, by PJ, Olivia, Caitlin, Emily, and Jay. John Davison Rockefeller was born on July 8, 1839, in Richford, New York, to William Rockefeller and Eliza Davison. He was the youngest out of eight children, William, Frank, Lucy, Francis, Marianne, Cornelia, and Claridna. At the age of 14, he moved away from his home in Richford and moved to Cleveland, Ohio. After living in Cleveland for two years, he got a job at the age of 16 as his assistant bookkeeper at a library. When he was 20 years old, he moved with his business partner, working as a commission merchant in Hayford. The company's first year made $450,000. Then in 1863, he opened his first refinery, and it was the largest in the area after two years. John D. Rockefeller established Standard Oil Company in 1870 with his brother William. He controlled 90% of U.S. refineries and pipelines. He gained a monopoly by buying rival refineries and developing companies for distributing and marketing its products around the globe. To cut costs, Standard Oil made its own barrels, built its own warehousing, and had its own network of pipelines. To save even more money, Rockefeller made deals with the railroads that shipped oil products to market. Because Standard Oil made and shipped its own products for less, it was able to sell them for less. Smaller companies could not compete, and most of them sold out to Rockefeller. Others were driven out of business. How did Rockefeller earn so much power? It all started with his first act to save his company. That act was the deal with the most powerful man in America, Cornelius Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt had built railroads all over the nation and was the richest and most respected man in the country. He was looking to do a deal with an oil company and targeted Rockefeller upon seeing that he was struggling. Rockefeller agrees to supply all of Vanderbilt's trains with oil. Rockefeller has overpromised, but ends up finding an overflowing oil source and fills Vanderbilt's trains with more than they can take. He breaks the deal and builds a pipeline that transfers his oil everywhere it needs to be. After taking multiple other steps to reduce costs, Rockefeller's net worth is somewhere around $340 billion, making him the most powerful man in America. Rockefeller retired from running Standard Oil just before it was no more. In 1911, once the Supreme Court ruled that the company of Standard Oil broke antitrust laws, laws that were meant to dismantle monopolies, the company was forced to break apart into over 30 companies that operated separately. Rockefeller, inspired by other former tycoons, became a major philanthropist, or someone who uses wealth to contribute to society. He donated over $500 million to charities run by teachers, the church, and scientists. Rockefeller also founded what is now Rockefeller University. He had a simple goal, to reach the age of 100. Sadly, he only lived in 97 and died at his winter home in Florida, one of his many houses. He was buried underneath the Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland. Rest in peace, John Davison Rockefeller, May 23, 1937.